That'll be a nice project for ya. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton. I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to Craft the World. I've uh, sent some fellows over here to get some wool, hopefully. And uh, we're at a pretty good level. Unfortunately, the, the monster wave is coming quite soon. So I'm somewhat worried about that. But uh, I think we have what it takes to handle it. If you want me to be quite honest. Um, it looks like they're going to get everything over here finished before the, the portal closes. So I have nothing to worry about. Or very little to worry about. I'm going to go ahead and get them to uh, get some of this wheat. I'll put another portal. Boom. dang -o. Mm Mm-hmm. And we're uh, making some pickaxes. I need to make some iron axes as well. We should be able to do it. Yeah. We can make seven of them. Wonderful. Um, so there we go. That'll be enough for all of my dwarves. And then newer dwarves that come can uh, can get the, the leavens. Oh, we did some farming. Wonderful. I don't know how, but uh, I guess we did. <laughs> Hooray! A little more experience. For you and me. Hmm. And there is a, a bunch of shit under here. That I'm trying to get my fellows to get. Are you alerting me about rats again? I don't care about rats. Can't you understand? Just kill them. It's very simple. Beat them to death. Alright. Let's see what else we got here. Mm, needles? I don't know what those do. Climbing shoes. Perhaps I should try to make somebody some climbing shoes. But uh, it doesn't seem like it's going to come in that handy. We've got a rusty skeleton mace. Hmm. Smithing apron. Oh, that could be quite good. Alright, I'll make a, a smithing apron for, for somebody at least. Who's my smith? We've got a carpenter, we don't have a smith. Well, whoever hits that forge first is going to get the apron. That's how it works around here. Mm-hmm. You show some motivation, we will reward you. With some high level uh, materials or some shit like that. I've still got a lot of work to do on the uh, crafting tree. My god, watch out for that little fellow. I'm not so scared of uh, ticks anymore. But they are quite a nuisance. I'd say the rats are more so. Oh, these guys are uh, making their way over the mountain. Well, take your time, I suppose. <laughs> There's a portal here. It's going to close before you get there, I think. Nah, they're gonna make it. They're gonna be just fine. Hmm, and another rat. Who's this? Uter. Good job, Uter. You're gonna get a nice uh, smithing apron. Yes. I don't know what it does, but uh, it's better than nothing. And he gets uh, the smith skill as well. Good job, good job. We're very proud of you. Hmm. And it looks like all my guys made it through that portal. So good job. Once again. Couldn't be prouder. And, um, hmm. Got some more work to do over here. A little more flattening to do. So I'll make another portal. Cut that tree down. Nope, we can't. I just put a portal on top of it. <laughs> it was not the wisest choice I've ever made. That is not even that long of a distance, but I do have quite a bit of mana, so I guess it doesn't matter so much. Chop that down. Oh, is that guy still using a shitty, uh, a shitty knife? I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> That's fine. Everything's okay here. I just want to flatten this out a little bit. And now we're under attack again. Ooh, Shadow Spirit. Hmm. But we're doing good. Collecting more things from the underground. Down in the underground! Thank you, David Bowie. You've done such a wonderful thing for us here today. And I'll go ahead and uh, build this up. And then I can tear all of this down. 
drop some ladders. Oh my god. Night is coming, and it's going to be the, uh, the tough night. The real monster wave. Let's see if I can make some... some armor real quick. Hmm. Doesn't seem so. I'm going to, uh, be in quite some trouble, I think. Do we have any wool? I've got a little bit of wool. Hmm. Maybe I can make just a little bit of armor. Is four gonna be enough? No. But it will, uh, clothe more than half of my dwarves, which I suppose is a good thing. There we go. And who's got, uh, good weapons? Oh, somebody still has a knife. You need to fix that up. Here you go, Oin. I don't know how you picked up that knife, but I guess it doesn't really matter. And, uh, we'll give him... Oh, he's got a, a skeleton mace already. Alright. Jasper gets it. We got the veterans all, uh, all fucked up. Let's see. Here we go. A little bit of armor for Feely. I'll get some for Oin. And, uh, Uter. Seems like a random distribution of armor, but I hope it'll work. I hope it's the right thing. I know they're gonna come. They're gonna pop out of this graveyard. <laughs> they're gonna kill my dudes. Ah, uh, A little frustrate. You see? A little bit frustrate. There it is. Monster portal. Oh my god. I should uh, lock them all down in the house or something. This is... this is gonna be a massacre. God damn! Look at them all! Kill that big guy! Kill the big guy first! Nope. They're running off to bed. Um... Not good. Not good. Everybody back to the shelter. We're gonna... we're gonna do this a different way tonight. Everybody seems to be, uh, sleeping and whatnot. That'll do. Until they start banging on the doors, and then... and then we'll be a little bit fucked. Kill these rats in the meantime. I think, um... Uh, yeah, a little bit of rest should do. Here they are. I guess this was a good way to deal with the, the monster portal. Oh my god, what a mess. They're gonna break that door in no time. Damn! Just, just rest. Could you rest? Have a little nappy? Where is my bed? Oh, I need a bed for everybody. We have five at the moment. I guess I need to get one more. One more bed. Um, I can craft a couple. Oh, let's see. I've got five, so I need two beds. That'll work nicely. Uh, here's a bed. And here's a bed. But they can't leave the shelter to put the beds up, which is uh, not good. Oh my god. Look at them all! They are coming. They are coming with a vengeance. Well, just uh, beat them as they come to the door. <clears throat> as long as they don't break my door down, I think everything's gonna be okay. And it doesn't seem like the, the big monster is coming. So, maybe we're alright for now. I allow Dwarf to leave shelter. Oh my god. It was probably a mistake. Kill him, kill him! Get the loot from him if we kill him. It seems like it's going pretty well, and this guy decides to start smithing. Well, okay. You can do that if you want. Yay! And I get an additional dwarf! Wonderfully done. Welcome to the team, little fellow. Let's see what I have to equip you with. Probably not much at all, at the moment. Well, here's a club. I'm sure you'll like that. 
And uh, I'll need to make some more axes and things like that. You get a helmet. I need to make him a backpack. Hmm. I don't think we have the rope that we need. Dang. Yep, I need to find some more wool somewhere. Hmm. I think we killed all the sheep. All the sheep that were in a eye shot, at least. Hmm. Those monsters are retreating. That's a nice thing. And I don't see any more sheep, so... Do I have coins, maybe? Don't kill the snail. Yeah, I got some coins. I'll buy some wool. Good. Now I can make some more, uh, backpack. Backpackiness. Oh, but they gotta go pick the wool up. Duh. Alright. Cut down this, cut down that. We're doing the best we can here. It's uh, a little hard to keep up with, though. We'll need to make one more of these and one more of these. And uh, who is this dwarf? Uter. He's doing such a good job. He's working so hard for little to no pay. And that's just the way we like it here. Ooh, another book. A cookbook. Awesome. Poisonous berries from the previous version have been removed. I didn't even know that was a thing. Interesting. I could have been feeding my dwarves poisonous berries the entire time. Oops. <laughs> they didn't die though, so uh, I guess that's important. That's the most importantly. What are these guys doing down here? You think that's okay? Hmm. I guess they just get a little lost. That's what it is. We'll build some more uh, ladders and whatnot here. Oh, and look at this. There's some sort of tunnel over here. I need it. I must uncover the mysteries. They're all coming with ladders. Good job, fellows. Um, backpack is what I want. We'll make some wool. Did you pick it up yet? I guess it is quite a quite a ways away. Hmm. There it is. There it sits. And uh, there's a sheep over there as well. So maybe I should murder him with little to no little to no compassion for him. Good. Yes. Destroy the sheep. And, uh, are we done crafting up all the, all the goodies that I needed? Probably not. Hmm. Well, you get a pickaxe. And a regular axe. I guess we need to, uh, to get that guy crafting some more. I don't want you to have these, uh, these crappy weapons. You understand? You need to mine as quickly as possible. And probably I can't get through that stone unless, uh, unless we're doing the right thing, giving them all. See, see, Drong always gets left out. I feel so bad for him. Poor little guy. I'm gonna put a, a portal here. We'll see if that'll work. Boom. Everybody come through the portal! Oh, we don't need to do this. Ooh. Looks quite dangerous in there. Let's get all of this. That'll do nicely. Ooh, what's in there? Keep mine in that sand. I like how it has a. Uh, it's the only block with actual physics. Just like in Terraria, it falls down in front of one. Oh my god. We're all full up on rats again. Moderate comfort. Yeah, because there's a bunch of fucking rats in here. I guess I need some more beds. Hmm. I should maybe build another house. Oh wait, I don't think I should kill that sheep. It doesn't have any wool on it yet. It has no wool. And then I've got a couple of uh, things over here that I need. Somebody come and get. 
Hooray! Pick up the wool, do the thing. So proud of that guy. That little dwarfy fella. Um, can we, can we put a thing over here? I guess I need to remove the stone column in order to do so. Oh my god, it's an underground mystery. Some sort of history. Hmm. Perhaps we should go over this way. And I could uh, kill some of these guys for leaves, maybe? Leaves are always important, especially because I need to make another bed for my new dwarf. Boom! We got eight, yeah. So that'll work fine. I do need to expand my house just a little bit. So uh, I will do so. I will do so as soon as it is feasible. But that means I have to seal up this fucking thing again, doesn't it? I think so. <clears throat> I'm not sure, but I think so. And let's get rid of all this. Hmm. That new guy needs a backpack. That's what I bought that wool for. Wool. Yes. I like wool. Here we go. I'll make two. <clears throat> Just so I can avoid having to make another one when the time comes. And there's a backpack for you, fella. Oh, I guess that was wood armor. Well, we still need some more wood armor. We need three more. There's one, two, three. So I need to make two more wood armors. And hopefully I'll still have enough to make backpacks. Jesus Christ. Um, that'll do. And everybody's got a hat, right? Yeah. They're all armed up pretty decently, I do suppose. We'll give you uh, an iron axe, an iron axe. This guy needs some real armor. And none of them have shoes. I guess dwarves don't need shoes. Their feet are giant and hairy, like a hobbit. There we go. Now you all look the same. Not one of you is special, except for uh, Oin and Feely. Let's see, who's missing an iron axe? You. And I probably need to make some more. I don't know if we still have some queued. It seems seems not. Hmm. Okay. So I need one iron axe and one pickaxe. Okay. We can do that easily enough. Boom and boom. Actually, I'm going to queue up two of them. There we go. Just for the next guy that comes along. He'll be uh, ready to get all armored up. Oh my god. This is uh, interesting. I don't know what to do. Do I attack this fellow? I suppose that's uh, a wise thing. But really I should uh, work on expanding my house a little bit more. It couldn't hurt. We're gonna have some more dwarves along shortly. But I hate to uh, break my house up. I, I just want to turn my house into a home. Oh, wow. We got a bunch of shit over here. Somebody come through this portal. Pick up all that crap. Pick up all this crap. <clears throat> and uh, I guess I can just expand the house a little bit. And then... Uh, like, make the make the tunnel come over like this. Mm-hmm. That sounds like a wise thing to do. And we'll seal this off. That'll do. I can take this ladder back. Recycling! Everybody uh, has a job to get up to. Cut down this tree. Keep them going. Keep them going. And uh, there's another portal for you. I don't know how many other spells I'm going to learn. I'm quite curious to know. Hmm. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Okay, so what I want to do now... Hey! Advanced ironworking done. Finally. Jesus Christ. Now I can make some basic weaponry. That's quite nice. Archer's Gloves Horn Spell. Ooh. Probably to rally the dwarves. 
And then I can make a wooden bow, fire arrows. Cool. What do I need for basic processing? Hmm, I need to cook some things. Mixed green salad, fried eggs. Okay. Let's see what we can cook. For three feedings. I got I got plenty of meat. I got plenty of leaves, plenty of coal, I do think. Well, not plenty, but enough. Somebody make that. Somebody do a thing now. And keep these fucking rats out of my house. Ah, we just never learn. Never quite learn, do we? Hmm. I wonder when this sheep is going to grow some wool. I think if you kill him too fast, it, uh, it don't work right. It don't work right. And we've still got the uh, iron axe and pickaxe all queued up. Which means I can equip the ones that are missing it. You need this. And where's my other fellow? Yes. You get this. Congratulations. They all seem to be doing pretty good. I could probably uh, craft some iron shoes for them now. I think that would be a wise idea. Um, horn spell. Hmm. Calls dwarves to gather in a specific fit place to attack or defend something. That's good. Oh, I need rope for the shoes. God damn it. I should have known that it would be this way. Ugh. Oh well. It be what it be, I suppose. We're doing the best we can here. I broke my house, so uh, we're not going to be able to heal during the night. Which I think is probably a, a pretty big mistake. <laughs> Hopefully we don't have any of those big eyeball monsters. Those are the ones that I fear the most. And why am I flattening this out? I guess I don't really know. Well, when somebody gets over there, that'll that'll be a nice project for you. And then, uh... I need to make some more walls. Yes. Many walls. There we are. And do we need more roofs? It seems so. Oops. Roof. Roof, roof, roof. Oh, I'm out of leaves. Shit. Well, I don't think it's going to go eight spaces across. The, the roofs stretched farther than I thought they would, that's for sure. So, okay. Do that. We'll uh, we'll make this. Build blocks. Cut this tree. Pretty plea. Hmm. House walls destroyed. Yes, I did that. Oh my God! This fella's getting his ass kicked. Anybody want to help him out? I guess he's gonna win. The shelter borders have been violated. Yeah, this guy's not going to uh, do too well. Go rest. I can't rest. Okay, fine. Don't go rest then. I guess it's going to be okay. If I lose one of my dwarves, I'm going to be so disappointed. Here, we'll control this guy. And, uh, I'll park him in the house. Here we go. Allow dwarves to leave the shelter. Mm, I don't think it's a good idea. I don't think it's a good idea. Probably a really bad idea. They're forbidden to leave the shelter, but uh, currently there's there's not really a shelter. Here, put that put that dirt back. Pick up that blood. <clears throat> Let's do all this. Oh my god. <clears throat> it's okay. We've got a wall of dwarves. They're going to hold the line, as dwarves tend to do. They are cool-headed in combat. You can trust me on that. God damn. We're gonna work. We're gonna put the uh, the shelter back together. It's gonna be great. Okay, everybody can leave the shelter. Fine. It's going great. Thank you so much. Many things to drop off. I'm still a little scared to go down there. Oh, here's a book. A logger's book. Hmm. Wonderful. I will probably need this at some point. And there's another sheep. A sheepy weepy. 
Anyways, this has been Craft the World. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I thank you so much for watching, friends. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. And if you do, friends, I'll send you a, a, a piece of plastic saran wrap. It's really nice. You can keep your food fresh, safe from rats, uh, which I don't think I've had too much luck doing. But maybe, maybe you'll do better than me. Anyways, <laughs> there's some more rope. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. And until then, friends, bye bye See you.